Red Brick Studios and today I have another Lego Star Wars review for you guys and today I have Kylo Ren's TIE Fighter uh, this is a really awesome set um, and yeah I, I'm so happy I got this this is seen in The Last Jedi and yeah at this point in time guys I have seen The Last Jedi and um, this this thing was awesome and it, it just it was for the short screen time it had it played a like pretty good pretty good part um and i really liked it also really like the minifigure figure you get in this set <laughs> pointing to that pilot uh because the rest aren't really that exclusive and i don't like that uh because that's kind of my only criticism for this set is that we're kind of lacking in the minifigure department and then it's really big and i kind of don't understand i think it should be just a tad bit smaller because and this doesn't make any sense to me. They're ma Lego's making sets that, like the turbo tank, that need to be big, smaller, but then sets like this that could be smaller, bigger. Oh, that doesn't make any sense. Anyways, let's get into the stats about this set. It's ages 8 to 14. Of course, it's 75179. That's the set number. Uh, it's Kylo Ren's TIE Fighter, and it's got 630 pieces. Um, I think... Pretty sure, yeah, this retails for like $80 in the U.S. and like $100 in Canada. So that's pretty cool. It's I think it's an okay price for piece point, but I don't know how great it is. Uh, but anyways, guys, I think we, sh we should get right into this review right now. Um, and let's take a look at those minifigures. Okay, guys, so taking a look at the first minifigure, this minifigure is Kylo Ren. But just before I get into taking a look at these minifigures. I just wanted to say, uh, what do you guys think of the stand? I think this is a pretty good way to display the minifigures. I've seen this done many different ways, but I think this this piece is a really good way to do it. And yeah, um, and then the other thing uh, I wanted to talk to you guys about is um, what do you think of this new background? Obviously, I've had a new background for the last two, the haul and the other, the Resistance Troop Transport Pod uh, review, and I think it works perfectly, and I hope you guys enjoy it as well. Now, just getting into Kylo Ren, he has this really cool lightsaber, which is actually kind of different from the ones before. Instead of this piece being like a dark chrome, it's now black. And yeah, on he has, he has a double-sided face, so his first face... It's kind of like, uh, happy-ish, or not happy, but like, kind of happy. And then his back, back face is like, screaming and like, getting into a tantrum. And yeah, he's got, uh, a pretty nice hair piece, some nice cloth on the back, and he's got some nice overall printing, and I'll just give you a look at that. Okay, so let's get into our next mini. So our next minifigure is BB9E. And he's the same one as the Star Destroyer, which I did pick up on Force Friday, or the first order Star Destroyer. And yeah, he's pretty much the same. I wasn't too interested in this minifigure because I had already seen him. And yeah, he's kind of just same build as BB-8, two pieces. He's got the ball piece and then the top head piece. And I'll just give you a little overall view of his printing. And then I'll just show you his head piece. That's kind of his head piece, so... Yeah, let's move on to the next minifigure. And our next minifigure is a First Order Stormtrooper. And I honestly think him being included in the set is awesome. He's just... He's an awesome figure. And if they LEGO can throw him into any different sets, so that I can kind of collect an army of him, um, that's awesome. Like, they're doing awesome battle packs with him. It's just awesome to throw him in to another set. Um, I mean, he's basic. We've all seen it before. Uh, there's no new design, even though the Last Jedi ones are different. Uh, don't know how that works exactly. Yeah, that's just his printing. And on the bottom, he does have an angry clone. And his printing's pretty good. Um, if you guys want to see a First Order Stormtrooper army or First Order army... Uh, just comment down below, um, because I'm thinking about doing one. I think I probably have about a base plate of minifigures to show you. Okay, guys, let's get to the next minifigure. Okay, guys, so on to the last minifigure of this set. 
And I honestly need to say last but not least, the First Order Thai Pilot. Now, that's what it says on the box. And obviously this isn't just any Thai Pilot. Most Thai Pilots have just a regular helmet with no red printing on it. And yeah, so the only difference with this guy really is he has the printing right there. And I honestly love it. The printing looks amazing. He looks so, like, Death Trooper-like. And the other cool thing I love about these um, helmets, this is one of the reasons uh, I went to Force Friday uh, back in 2015 to get the TIE Fighter. And this is one of the reasons why right here. It's this helmet. This helmet was amazing. And the way it went on to the other to uh the clone with the whole like piece so to see like uh a pilot with some markings on it was just amazing okay guys so just taking a quick look at the minifigure of course that's his printing his printing's exactly the same as the guy from the tie fighter uh or the guys from the tie fighter uh just he has a blaster and yeah guys let's go take a look at this bad boy let's He's go taking a look at Kylo Ren's TIE Fighter. Uh, and this is a really, uh, really awesome set. Um, and yeah, it's got really nice detail. It's really hard to show on camera because like I said before, it's kind of ridiculously big. But it's got nice side detailing. And it's got a really cool engine detail. Um, hold on. I'm just going to like hand it like that got a really cool engine detail it's like red but you also have these blue things showing I wish those were in black but beyond the point um it looks pretty cool from here uh, the top is really really cool as well um which I think is awesome and this is the other thing um, I'm gonna take this off the trap for a second this Thing right this uh starfighter can sit on like like that so you can kind of store it in different areas which is really good um uh for storage and yeah uh so that's the top obviously that this thing opens up and i'll show you how to put a minifigure in in a minute uh when i'll flip the camera angle around there's also a stud shooter feature on top um, but yeah, I think the front also is a good place to show the detail, because they did an amazing job with getting that front down pat. It's awesome looking. See how close I could get it there. Um, and I really love the way they had these, like, red tiles right here. Um, and yeah, there's gun details on the ship, obviously. There's some gun details, um... Gun details right, oops, gun details right here, right here, right here, right here. And there's also these like huge turrets on the sides there, which is pretty awesome. And yeah, uh, you can also kind of see the stud shooters down there. Um, yeah, I think it, overall it looks really, really cool. Uh, I don't have much to say about it. Like it's just an overall really good display piece. Um... And I think it looks really good on, say, like a stand like this, which I'm actually going to be ordering more of because I find a lot of ships look good on display when they're actually, like, flying. And, yeah, I think it's just a really big kind of display model. Uh, this set, I think, is more of a display model. Uh, and, yeah, uh, let's... I'm going to do a different camera angle so then I can show you the stud shooters and how the minifigure goes inside the cockpit. Okay, let's do that right now. Okay, guys, so as you can see, this is the top of the ship again. And like I said, this hatch just kind of pops open. And I can kind of show you the interior detail. There is, you can kind of rip this piece off and this piece if I wanted to so you can get a better look inside. But there is no control panel or anything. And I'm sure a lot of you are wondering, if I don't rip this piece off, is it easy to get Kylo Ren or your TIE Pilot in there? And we're going to figure out in just a second. But I think we're going to need to take this 
off the stand that it's on. So I'm just gonna move the stand. Okay. So yeah. And so Kylo Ren can go in there with his cape on because it kind of like curves. There's Kylo. He can't go in with his accessory though. And he just sort of slides in because there's like a, it's like a little wedge piece. So his legs go in between. It's like what they did for Lego Friends originally. And you could shut it and he could go fly the ship. Um, Really, really awesome. And then again, like you could fit the TIE Pilot in there too if you wanted. Because um, I'm assuming... Some people might want to do this as well. The tie pilot just sits in there, shut it up, shut the hatch, and then it's ready to go. The other thing I wanted to like talk to you guys about is back here there's like these wedge pieces kind of, uh, T slopes, and that's for like holding it, so then you can put your hand underneath underneath the ship's hull or the engines, and then put your finger here and just bring it up like that. So that's really cool. And then the last thing I'm going to show you here is how the stud shooters work. And I think I'm going to bring in the tripod for this. Let's see if we can. So, um, just watch kind of where it comes out. So right here, you can see there's kind of like pieces sticking up on both sides. If you push those down, you're going to see a stud fly out. Did you? So, yeah, if you didn't see that, I'll do it again facing the other way but basically what happens is the um you press down where I showed you and it just shoots out so yeah just press down and then it shoots out like that that was probably pretty hard to see I'll do it again yeah they, they go pretty fast um and now I probably lost them across the room of course okay guys so now that we've taken a look at this awesome huge set um i think we should go take a look at the box and instruction booklet quickly and then get into my final thoughts so yeah let's do that right now okay so just taking a quick look at the manual in the box and i know like in some of my previous videos before i've been taking like a really long time looking at the box and manual so i'm gonna try and like in my next reviews i'm gonna try and do it like manual and box at the same time and just get it done quicker um, so I don't spend too much time on it. Um, and yeah, so, you got the minifigures in the corner, uh, Disney logo, stats. You got a really nice picture of the ship. Uh, and then you've got that new box art. And then, I'll just show you quickly, there's the top. The cool side with the box art. And then, this is the back of the box. With all the cool features. Um, in there. Yeah, with all the cool features. Shows the stud shooter feature a bit better than I could. And yeah, this is, and I'm just showing you the instruction booklet quickly. Same pictures on the box. Um, yeah, set number. And it's got 77 pages. And then it's got some mini figures. The whole line, which I have all of these sets except for uh, the First Order Heavy s Assault Walker, and I have the Resistance Bomber. I made a review, but it's over 15 minutes, and I've done everything, but for some reason the file's off and whatever, so I can't figure out how to upload a video over 20 minutes, uh, which sucks, but anyways, um, yeah, and then there's some back mini figures here, and also I got like the new Brickheads, the Ray Brickheads, so I'll review those soon as well. And then here's the back. Okay, guys, let's get into my final thoughts on this set. Okay, so getting into my final thoughts about this set. Um, uh, I honestly don't know what to say. Um, it's $20 more than the 2015 TIE Fighter. And you get two of these pilots. I mean, this one has different printing on the helmet, but I honestly think that set might be just a little bit more worth it. Um, I mean, Kylo Ren's TIE Fighter, aka the TIE Silencer, is such an amazing ship, but I just don't know um, what, I, what I really think of it. I think it's an awesome ship, um, but the minifigures is where we're lacking here. Um, 
too many figures that we've already gotten in two different sets from this wave. Um, but the ship, the design, it's amazing. Um, and yeah, I love the way the ship's designed and stuff. Uh, I don't mind getting another Kylo Ren minifigure, that's cool. And then getting another TIE pilot is, of course, awesome. Uh, and one other thing I forgot to mention when I was doing the close-up is, if you look at this TIE fighter, you can, like, because it's on hinges, you can, like, flip it up so that it's, like, flat if you wanted to. I mean, obviously that's, like, not correct or whatever. Like, it's not how it's supposed to be, but, yeah. Anyways, just showing you that. And, yeah, I I think if you have, I'd say, I don't know. I'd pick the Resistance Bomber over this if you have, like, the money, kind of. Like, the 20 extra dollars to get the Resistance Bomber. But, I don't know. If I had $100 right now and I was just going to spend $100 on something that was, like, the $100 range Lego sets uh, in, or the $80 range Lego sets in, um... Uh, the U.S. and that would be like the uh, Raftar Escape set thing. I would probably go for this over the Raftar Escape, um, and probably the Y-wing bomber or the Y-wing from Rogue One, just because I have the 2012 one. I'm still planning on picking up that set though. So yeah, overall, I'd probably have to like out of 10, I'd give this set like a 8.5. It's just lacking in the minifigure department. But other than that, it's a really cool set. And, I mean, I really love it. So, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, and make sure to check out more videos for me because they are coming. Um, I'm planning on posting uh, two other videos this week, I'm hoping. And I want to be more consistent with my video uploads as well. And, yeah, see you guys later. Bye.